lucky surprise! So, I've got something quite exciting that I wasn't too keen on, that I've gone out and got my paws on to have a look at. So let's have a look and see what she is. I finally got myself an OMG LOL surprise doll. I'm really not keen on them. They're really not for me how they look or anything like that. So, but talking to people at work, all the parents are going, my kids love the LOL dolls. Um, obviously they've had some controversy recently on kind of the underwear that they reveal if you put them in cold water. They're only the little ones though. They're not the big ones. Um, so I got one of the big sisters, they're called, to have a look at. This is the latest one out at the moment. Um, I will probably be doing the next series that comes out as well to have a look and see if there's any differences, if they, if I like them anymore, if I do like this. Um, there were two I could have chosen from. There was Kitty K, obviously I probably would have gone for Kitty K, and then there was this one, who is Pop BB. Um, I love the 80s theme of Pop BB. Um, I absolutely adore the 80s. Um, I was born in the 80s, so she was kind of as a change from getting just all kitty cat stuff and pink things i went for this one so let's take a closer look and get this doll open and see if it changes my opinion on them so now we've turned the camera around we can see uh, the packaging a little bit more there's a really cool yellow record and thing which i'm quite upset there's not a real record um so yeah giant yellow uh, record. Apparently there's 25 surprises inside the box. Unbox song lyrics um, it says as well. Where I got it from unfortunately there was a massive security tag on the front of her. Um, there is a little doll that's saying hi sis underneath. And then on the back we have all of the other characters that you can collect in the series. Um, as I said, I was gonna go for Kitty K, which I normally would do because one, well, she's a kitty cat and she's got pink hair, but I went for something different this time because I really love 80s. Um, and then there's a country and western and a um, sort of R&B artist as well. And then on the other side, it just says her name and it's featuring Kitty K. So let's open up this box. Now I did see a tap that said pull. Pull that way. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, okay. Is it like a full size? It is just a full size record. That is so cool. That is so cool. It is a shame it's not a real record underneath. That would be pretty cool if it was. So I'll put this to one side for a second. And then we have our large box here. If we open up the inside, we can see a little tiny bit more about her express yourself bb music fashion attitude and vibe and then we've got a little tape deck a little cassette and saying featuring uh kitty k and fashion remix and on this side we have a giant record um which i'm assuming we can put our yellow record on the inside on top of and it will clip on and we have some instructions. So let's have a quick look at the instructions and see what it says. So that's a record player. Oh, well, that's super cute. Yeah, you just put it on there and it's a little record player. That's adorable. Um, a doll stand and it's got how you connect it together. It also tells you about the hands um, and then some other parts. Of, oh my God. Are you telling me it's actually the batteries required? I need to get some batteries. We'll look at how oh, No. Don't make me change my mind about these dolls. I really don't like the look of them, but it's saying. I need some batteries. This actually is a record player. Oh my goodness. That's so cool. That is genuinely so cool that this will actually rotate. I'll see if I can find some batteries. For now. Let's open this up a little tiny bit more. Okay, so we have a little compartment that we open here and it's got a little tiny hat box inside. Oh, this is so retro, it's so cool. 
and then open up this one and it's a little shoe box she's size six and a half me and this girl could not share shoes okay so that's that bit oh <gasps> oh my goodness look how cool she is is that as far as it goes i think it is is that where the batteries go no i really want to know does that bit actually come that bit fully comes out Oh, there we go. Oh my god. That's so cool. <laughs> I've just found where the batteries go. There's a little compartment underneath here. There's a little pull tab. <gasps> oh my god. That's so cool. Um, I'm giddy now. Okay, so we've got our doll inside the box. Um, hopefully she's quite easy to get out of, unlike other dolls that I've opened this season. So in the bottom bit of plastic. There's a little tiny comb is good because not many of the dolls I've opened have actually come with cones recently. Let's take all this back. <gasps> That's so cool. Oh, a little retro like record player. Um, bring the noise. Awesome. And then a little pop sign as well. So, let me move the box out of the way just for a minute. Just so we can get a closer look at all of this. So they are stuck in with a little tiny bit of plastic. I'm careful. I can pull that out. So That's one little tiny book oh that's so cute music zone and then you've got pop bb on the inside so it's like a little tiny magazine that's so cute that is super cute and then we've got our brush which i'll just take out of here nice silver brush and it just says omg on the back of it Then we've got our clothing bags. They are actually material clothing bags. They are pretty cool. Again, stuck in with a little tiny bit of plastic. I think I can get them out. Possibly. There we go. One, two, three. And there we go. They're all out. Again, they're all stuck together with a little tiny bit of plastic which you can just pop out. Um, really nice kind of retro sign kind of eyes and nose and hearts on there. Old school kind of how MTV used to look with all the televisions and the old school music writing. And then a, just a really, really retro, loud, vibrant 80s print on the last bag as well. So that's four blind bags box with shoes in and I think a hat box as well. Let's get our girl out and stand as well. So here is our stand. Does that bit go on there? I'm not sure where that bit goes. I'm thinking it might go underneath and it goes there. And then I just need to and itself, which again is only in with two little bits of plastic. That bit goes in there. And then this, this bit goes in there to hold her up. Fabulous. So now let's get the doll out. As I said, I had some real trouble with some of the dolls in some of my other videos. So hopefully it should be a little bit easier to get out. Oh, one leg, two legs. Two legs out. Kind of plastic and put it on there. And then we've got some round arms. We've actually got a piece of plastic fully around this arm, which we can take out there. And then, yeah, we've got some little tiny bits of plastic. There. One round of wrist there, which connects to her arm. And then her hair is connected there. Ooh. Yeah, we've got the two. I really dislike these. I've got two little plastic bits in the back of her head and I really, really cannot stand these. Because you cut them off and then they still stick out and they're really quite sharp. So there we go, one and two are out. Pull. It's quite nice, her hair has been in the back of the box. Um, which means that it won't get stuck down or flattened too much and out of style. 
Okay. Yeah, still not liking the face. The face is quite flat. Um, her hair is really, really soft though and styled really, really well. Um, her paintwork on her face is really good. Um, and all of the clothing that she's wearing now is actually cloth. It's not painted on, which is what I thought when I looked at them first. She has tiny little gloves, but obviously because they're so small, it's not been very well kind of made. She has, oh my God, she has all of her nails painted and they're quite pointy as well. So, wow, okay. Um, the hands are quite flimsy. They are like a plastic that you can bend. So I can see them either snapping off or breaking quite easily. Her legs are like a different kind of plastic to the top part of her body and her head is quite poseable. Her arms are quite poseable as well. Um, it's quite nice again, no body imaging. She's quite a curvy girl and she hasn't got a big bust. Um, those bits of plastic, again, oh, just, I just really can't stand them. I can feel them there and they're really sharp. Most of the time you can push them in, but out they are quite sharp. So you just need to be careful with those. Got them. Almost, almost. Yeah, they've gone. Yeah, I've managed to push them in, which is quite good. She has a really nice white pink bow, very much like Madonna in the back of the 80s. Um, so yeah, she's she's a really, really nice, well-made doll, surprisingly. Um, but as I said, I just, the style of them, I'm not too keen on the flat face um, of them. But as I said, kids are going crazy for them at the moment. So she's a really nice sized doll and she comes with a stand. So let's get some things open. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna open the really, really loud one first. So. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So inside the really loud packaged one, we have a really nice little denim jacket with a tiny little chain hanging off the corner and with a print on the back, which is like a typical old school 80s print on the back of a denim jacket with a kind of like uh, zebra print on the inside. These little hangers are super cute as well to hang the clothes back up on. Um, so yeah, really good little idea there. So we've got our denim jacket. Let's see what's in package number two. <laughs> so in package number two, yeah, I feel the Madonna vibes even more now. So we have a little tiny white skirt with some frill at the bottom and then a frilly top. Uh, and then two belts as well. This is what I had a problem with. They, they're made by the same company, um, the Nanana Surprise and also the LOL Dolls. Um, I had this with the uh, Nanana Surprise. Sometimes these, it's, yeah, I understand being flimsy here, but it goes up over her belly. It should have maybe one or two other little tiny stitches in here just to keep it in place so it doesn't wobble everywhere and it doesn't look out of place when it's only got this one here holding it in place as well as the velcro at the back. But we have our nice little dress. Uh, oh my god. Oh wow, that's like an oversized hoodie. That's amazing. It's a hoodie dress and it's bright pink. That's super cute with little tiny pink polka dot bows on the side. It's really soft. I will say it's really soft. A lot of the thread though is coming out, which isn't good. Um, apart from that, it's pretty well made. There is a massive hole in the back, but I'm assuming that's for all the hair to sort of stick out of. And again, it comes with these really nice little hangers as well. So that's her alternative outfit. So let's have a look and see what's in. Should we have a look in here or should we get some of the oh, I'll tell you what, let's, let's get some shoes out. Oh wow, okay, so they're in little tiny bits of tissue. So in the little tiny remix tissue, which is super cute, we have her shoes, which are kind of like, they look like biker jackets. Um, with silver dots and silver eye dents on. Okay, they're pretty cute. And then inside here. Oh, 
Oh god, oh wow, wow. Okay, everything went everywhere. This is all of her accessories by the looks of it. Oh, okay, so we've got a pair of tights. A symbol. A symbol. That's not a symbol. What am I talking about? Her necklace. Some tights. Her earrings, which are super cool. And a tiny, tiny Walkman. Which is so unbelievably adorable. That is so cute. It's even got a headphone jack. That's really cute. That's really, really cute. So yeah, that is super cute, super, super cute. So, in here, open up this. Ah, little headphones. Oh, they're so cute. Nothing else in there, good. There's nothing else in there, so I've missed anything. And please, tell me if this actually works. <sighs> the headphones fit in the headphone jack. Oh my god, that's so cute. They are so adorable. Right, let's get this lady dressed. shouldn't be having to pop her hands off to get the jacket from her. That is ridiculous. And it isn't even on properly. I'm still having trouble with her elbow in that and her arm. Wow, that, I shouldn't have to pop her hands off to get her jacket on. That's a bit, wow, that is really bad. Okay, pop your shoes on. Make sure they're the right way. There we go, 
one necklace. And then we have our tambourine. So I'll go in that hand, hold on to it. And then we've got this watermelon as well, which we will put on in a second. So, ah, I'm just throwing her everywhere. Okay, that's quite, uh, yeah, that's quite solid. They've gelled her hair up. So she's got bits. <laughs> what the? Okay, so I'm not going to change her outfit because I'm not taking off her arms again, taking off her hands again. Let's put the walkman on her. Put the walkman on. Just some tunes. The first thing you're going to be listening to is a bit fastly. Um, Clip it onto a clothes or put it in a hand. But yep, there you go. There's her little Walkman on as well. All in all, I think the quality of the items is quite good. The paint works okay on them. Um, I said they're not for me because their faces are, I'm not too keen on their faces. The hair's really nice and soft. Um, and she does have a kind of the multi-toned hair and it looks really really nice. I said it's quite full, there's no ball patches at all and as far as I can see I'm just pulling there and there's little strands coming out but not too many of them. I'm trying to get a jacket on was a nightmare, I had to take her hands off and the, not, the gloves aren't the, mo the best well made gloves jacket doesn't quite fit her properly and I don't like necklaces like these because they kind of stick out a lot as I said before the belt's kind of already frustrating the hell out of me because it's just it's not staying in one place the skirt's a bit baggy for up here but with these it's because they've got wider hips they need that little tiny bit more room to get over the top of them the shoes are super cute and also her tights are really nice as well and really really well made the details really good in them she's a well-made doll and i understand why kids absolutely adore them they're quite robust they're not overly kind of heavy and they're not as kind of they're a bit more chunkier so you can hold on to them a little bit better unlike barbies which are quite thin um they've got a lot more hair to them they are brighter, vibrant, the eyes are quite big, very much like um, some Japanese dolls. All in all, I understand why kids have gone crazy for them, but they're still kind of not for me. She's pretty cool in a like 80s outfit and I really like it, uh, apart from the struggles I've had. And all the little accessories are really cute. It's like the tiny little gym outfit that you would have worn in the 80s. The oversized hoodie, which is super cute and super soft. And then even all the details down to the Walkman having a headphone jack that you can actually put the headphones into. And again, it's a doll with a stand. I love that. I am going to quickly see if I can get that turntable going. So let's put you on your stand. There you go, you're on your stand. Let's push that down, but so your feet are there. Fabulous. She does look really good on the stand, actually. Like, just like that, she's a really nice doll. So. Let's move all this out of the way. And I want to see if I can actually get this going. So let me grab this one out of heat. Oh, make your own lyrics thing. I don't know where that is. Oh my god, okay. Groove O-Rama is what this record says. So I put this there. Pull that out. And then is there a button anywhere on it? Okay, that's pretty good packaging and a really, really good marketing thing.
Do I think he's gonna hang on? Not working very well. I think the packaging's broken a bit. That is pretty damn cool. Okay, you've kind of redeemed yourself a little bit, lol, with that packaging idea. That's, that's pretty cool. So, all in all, I really like that. Um, I'm still a little unsure about the dolls. Um, I will pick up the next one, next series that comes out. Um, I understand why everyone's gone crazy for them and that packaging is fantastic. Um, the fact that I can actually box her all up in here and keep her secure and all the pieces in it and put the outer box back on is such a lovely idea. Um, yeah, that is, that's, it's really nice the experience of having kind of that blind bag and not knowing what the alternative outfit is. Yeah, I get it. I get why people really like them. They're still not complete for me, as, I, as I've said a couple of times in this. But you know what? I'll give the next one a go. Because if the packaging's like this one, yeah, I'm in. So I hope to see you on another one. Please like, subscribe, and share my videos. Um, give me any comments at the bottom uh, about what you'd like me to reveal next or review next. Um, give me your thoughts on LOL. Do you really like them? Are there some that you may have had problems with? Um, try and change my mind. Just tell me why like you absolutely adore them. And yeah, follow me on Instagram. I've got an Instagram page. So come visit me on there. And I hope to see you on the next one. So I'll see you soon. Bye!